Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today we have two bits of YouTube news related to cryptocurrency. First of all, the YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki, she stated that NFTs are going to be integrated into YouTube in a letter addressed to creators. Uh, the second bit of news is YouTube's head of gaming leaves to join Polygon Studios as their new CEO. So let's get into the news. First of all, Susan Wojcicki. They want to expand their interests in the ecosystem to include NFTs. In her annual letter, Wojcicki stated that the platform was interested in expanding the YouTube ecosystem, and this included things like NFTs. It's unclear what forms of NFTs YouTube will exactly focus on, but according to Wojcicki, it would primarily be to help creators capitalize on emerging technologies. So just like sponsorships and uh, super chat donations and actually trying to monetize through various forms of advertising, this would just be another form and maybe YouTube would get on board, maybe they wouldn't, but I'm all for this. I think it's a fantastic idea. Whether it actually goes into fruition or not, it's pretty cool that they're exploring it. Uh, they also refer to Web3 as a source of inspiration for YouTube, uh, specifically drawing attention to DAOs. The past year in the world of crypto, non-fungible tokens, and even decentralized autonomous organizations have highlighted a previously unimaginable opportunity to grow to connection between creators and their fans. Uh, and this is pretty cool. I mean, you have a platform that unfortunately has a pretty bad history with uh you know, mistreatment of creators and channels being banned for no reason and certain bad things happening and a variety of controversies. I mean, YouTube is a great platform. It's how we're able to communicate. There's been a lot of fantastic things over the years, but there's also been some bad things and every little bit of good news well, gives them a little bit more respect, although they still have a long way to go. Uh, and also, there's another reason. It's not just like, oh, hey, we want to experience, uh, we want to improve the experience for content creators. No, they're a business. They want to run it like a business, and they see that their competition, Instagram and Twitter, are already rolling out things such as Twitter Blue users have been able to connect their accounts with OpenSea's API, and they're able to use verified NFTs from their personal collection. So, uh, last week, Twitter added NFTs. That's a pretty big option. Instagram recently mentioned that they're exploring actively uh, also integrating NFTs onto the platform. So, that's pretty big competition. I mean, Instagram's owned by Facebook. You already know Facebook's going big into the metaverse, into NFTs, into crypto. So, it's only a matter of time at this point. And uh, with Twitter, they're also a little bit of a competitor towards YouTube. Not, not much, but... Just different social media platforms, YouTube understands they need to keep up with the times, otherwise there's going to be other platforms, and who knows, maybe YouTube one day will be replaced, so it's definitely something to consider. You had a lot of companies recently get into the NFT craze, I mean ginormous companies that are household brands. Uh, you also had celebrities like Tom Brady, Paris Hilton, Jimmy Fallon, Post Malone, Kip Kardashian, at pretty much anyone you can think of that's just up to date with things uh, is kind of you know under the age of 50 years old because some of the older people don't really have a clue of what's going on. Uh, if they're a big celebrity, they're probably already into it. I mean, even Milan Trump. So it's pretty crazy. Now, on to YouTube Gaming. Ryan Watt will soon be leaving his post at YouTube to start as uh, the new CEO of Polygon Studios, their venture that's dedicated to building on the Ethereum sidechain Polygon. Maybe Wyatt is one of the people who's responsible for actually lighting a fire on YouTube's hey, creative side to get into NFTs because he was big into NFTs, into cryptocurrency, into blockchain, and that's probably why he was poached by other companies. I mean, maybe he's probably making a lot more money, and being as a CEO, that's a pretty amazing position. So despite YouTube's growing interest in blockchain, Ryan will be saying bye-bye, and uh, it's good to have on the resume, definitely. He says, I came to YouTube almost eight years ago to help give gamers a voice and represent the gamers' needs every day. In my role at Polygon Studios, I will be focused on growing the developer ecosystem through investment, marketing, and developer support, and bridging the, app, the gap between Web 2 and Web 3. I'll be leading the Polygon Studios organization across gaming, entertainment, fashion, news, sports, and more. Uh, it's bittersweet. However, there's also something else. For people who don't know who Ryan Watt is... If you go to his Twitter, his actual Twitter post, his username is Fwiz. If you remember Fwiz, if you remember Machinima, if you remember all the good old gaming days from what was eight, 10, 11 years ago, 
YouTube was a lot of video gaming and a lot different animal than it is right now. You have an entirely different generation. You have an entirely different way the platform looks and feels. And even with advertising and just the way it was, it was a completely different animal. So this is a person I'm pretty familiar with. I used to be heavy into gaming. And even though, you know, it's, it's kind of cool that he became the actual head of gaming, um, he has new ventures to get into, and it's awesome to see people that kind of familiar with getting also into cryptocurrency. And you're going to continue to see this because a lot of the people who like gaming also like cryptocurrency. A lot of people who like YouTube and social media and marketing and all this stuff, it's basically the same interests. And now you're branching out that it's going mainstream. You're getting more and more people who are getting interested in this, and why wouldn't they? So it's because of Fwiz that YouTube Gaming's live streaming initiatives basically came out. Uh, there was huge deals with Tim the Tatman, Ludwig, Doc Ritter, Lupo. He gained a lot of uh, following and uh, a lot of respect from Dr. Disrespect. Uh, 100 Thieves, Nate Shot, Courage, Valkyrie. They basically told him, hey, congratulations on the new move. Uh, they were looking back at what he did with YouTube Gaming, with uh, live streaming, where he took the platform with esports, with Call of Duty. And now Wyatt's going to bring some of his entertainment skills into building a new Web3 platform and helping Polygon. And that's pretty cool. You know, hey, he's got a lot of uh, great things on his resume, so... Welcome to crypto. Wyatt stated, uh, basically he believes that angry gamers will eventually come around to blockchain gaming. Gamers will see the value of NFT blockchain based gaming when there are more polished native blockchain experiences built from the ground up. And I totally believe that because right now a lot of the games aren't that quality, but they're improving. I mean, it's just like when video games first came around. If you look back at what you were playing on the PlayStation 2, I mean, just look at the quality of that and compare that to some of the stuff that's out nowadays, it's completely different. Again, different generations. So what you're going to see in the next 10 to 15 years, you have to think very, very far ahead. It's going to be a completely different experience. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, YouTube definitely getting into cryptocurrency definitely becoming more mainstream and despite what's happening with cryptocurrency right now you always have to be bullish regarding the long long term of everything so uh with that out of the way bitcoin's kind of recovering a little bit we're at thirty-seven thousand. uh ethereum's still kind of around under two and a half and the total market cap is still around 1.6 trillion so still a lot of fear in the markets but uh we're focusing on good news thanks so much for watching have a great rest of your day and see you guys as always tomorrow thanks for watching bye